Hi everyone, it's Christy. I'm here with a flip through of this little mini cinch journal. Um, this is using the My Porch Prints, Grandma's Attic. Um, I printed everything two to a page and I did not print out but more than maybe six or eight sheets of two, maybe two or three sheets of ephemera and yeah, it didn't take a lot uh, to make this, but I have used a chipboard cover for this. I've got some of the ephemera, a um, little piece of lace behind that piece, and some uh, cotton trim. And like I said, chipboard cover. Um, I, I took one of the envelopes and cut it into a pocket. I've added some of the other um, pieces of ephemera here into that pocket. And the postcard, the Happy New Year, and I don't know what that is, some kind of cocoa. All right, and then I have a little baggie here, which I've just uh, put a little um, strip so that I could have something to punch into with a little, uh, I think it's two and a half by four size craft bag. Inside the bag, I've got a little tag with some more crochet trim there. And then here I've got a three by three envelope also attached with the little uh, hinge. Uh, inside I've got some coffee dyed paper. The coffee dyed is by Leanna Scraps, it is a digital. And I've just used another piece of ephemera uh, for a little area to tuck that and close it. Um, I did print the ephemera two to, a, two to a page so they are half size. Um, over here I've used one of the, it comes with a long uh, banner and I cut it and I made a couple of banners, another uh, little place to write here, just tucked that under with some more crochet trim. I took some other pieces of ephemera and added them to these um, dividers and the dividers are made out of a card that I have uh, a blank card that I folded in half glued together and covered with um, the beautiful background pages and I've added a little uh, tag here in in that tuck spot same thing on this side and then I have a larger bag this one's about four by six and um, this one I had some glue drying so I, I was waiting on that but I've got a couple pieces of coffee dyed paper in there and you could add whatever you want here, either journal inside or uh, add photos, what have you. And so that is there. I've got another one of the 3 by 3 envelopes. All of the 3 by 3 envelopes have coffee dyed paper inside for writing. There's a little bit of room left in there. Um, these are not full by any means. For another tuck spot with a little blank. These are blank on the back for writing as well. And then we've got a little little journal insert here. This is um, just all blank pages. There's 32 sides here, uh, eight full size pages that have been sewn in on the machine. And those, that little tiny journal measures three by six. And there again, I've got another an, another <laughs> another divider here with some. Um, uh, ephemera pieces that I've used as a little tuck spot and inserted some more little tiny writing spaces there. Um, plenty of room to add um, photos or more journaling around it. Here's another one of the two and a half by four uh, craft bags and there again I've got another um, piece of ephemera with a little crochet trim at the top. And one more envelope here with a little bit of coffee dyed paper inside. These are coffee dyed both sides. And um, like I said, they, I, that, that's just the only piece of paper I've stuck in there, but there's room for more to be stuck inside that envelope. And then here there's another tuck and I need to find something somewhere uh, in my leftovers to tuck under there. I was waiting for the glue to, die, to dry and I forgot about it. Um, and then I have done another back pocket here with some more of the ephemera, little New Year's greeting, and a little postcard. And then this is Hayes Dye Works. So um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. And there again, another piece of chip for, for the backing. Um, it does have the cinch. Um, Five eighths, I guess. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's five eighths uh, binding on there, and that is hidden. So, yeah, this was a lot of fun. So, um, 
If you're interested in seeing how I put that together, there is a playlist, and you can find that on my YouTube channel. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.